You see, quite often when an EMS worker arrives on the scene of an emergency, as Lauren Edmondson shows us in this demonstration photo, she'd have to apply pressure to stop bleeding from a neck artery. But working with her allied health team as a student at Ohio's Cedarville University, along with Professor Dr. Tim Norman, she helped design what is called an arterial restrictive clamp to do the same thing. So you would take this device, you would put it underneath, and you would just ratchet it down. As Dr. Norman showed us, it places pressure where it's needed as you transport the patient for help. The advantage here to this particular design is that we have a carotid open on the other side so we can still feed the brain with oxygen. We're also opening the throat area so we can still breathe. Battlefield and wartime use also part of the mission for this device. It has multiple functions. We can use it as a, uh, a jun juncular uh, tourniquet as well. We can pull this off if we're not using it for this particular thing and we can pull this out here. This is used for ephemeral tourniquet with a strap that we provide. We can also take this, there's a light at the end of it here. We can expand the length, there's a light uh, with a switch. We can use it for a laryngoscope for intubation. So it has multiple functions for a medic who would be in the battlefield trying to uh, address a number of injuries that were on the battlefield. Now they do expect to learn more about FDA approval in the coming weeks. When we learn it, we will share it with you. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.